Hello and welcome to the Hampton Wick History website. This has many sections as you can see here on the home page. However this short video will focus on the brick by brick section in the bottom right of the screen. Clicking here takes you to the welcome page where the streets covered by each of the three books in the project are listed. Those street names shown underlined have completed property pages. Click on one of these to proceed. You arrive at the property list for that street from which you may directly select a property or you may browse the properties on the map and select from this. Either way, you arrive at the property page, which is the heart of the website. It contains a lot of information, especially for older properties. However, this information will always be located in the same areas of the property page. Let me show you what's there. At the top of the screen is the postal address of the property. To the right is the current name of the property and any previous names by which it has been known. On the left is a list of people who have been recorded as head of household at this property. At the bottom right is the navigation area with buttons to move backward and forward between neighbouring properties. In the centre of the screen is a panel containing links to the census returns for this property. Since the last available census for which information is available was in 1911, this panel is of course not present for properties built since then. Finally, the right part of the screen may contain one or more buttons linking to other information for this property, for example estate agent slideshows or historic and recent planning applications related to the property. Let's take a look at some of the material available. The property we're looking at is Morrowvale, now known as Thameside Place, which dates back to the 18th century, so there's a lot of interesting stuff here. For example, there's a full set of census returns available for this property. Here is the return for 1841, when the property was known as Skinner's Hall. And here's the 1891 census. Over on the right, we have the 1948 planning application for converting the building into six flats after the war. And here is the 2002 Planning Committee briefing paper when the current scheme that created Thames Reach was first discussed. The estate agent publicity button has pictures from when one of the flats was being offered for sale in 2011. And finally, the other archive material includes images of the original 1799 lease. The navigation section in the bottom right provides a button to display a full screen picture of the property. As well as buttons to take you on to the next property or back to the previous one. Finally, there is a button to take you back to the property list. And from there, back to the top where we started. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and we hope you really enjoy using the website.